Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to factorise harder quadratics. So when you have a number before x squared, how do you factorise it then? You can't just find the factors that multiply to give you c and add to give you b and put them straight into your brackets. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, this is my a value, this is my b value, this is my c value. I'm going to multiply together my a and my c, in this case 2 multiplied by 2 which gives me 4, and then I'll find my factors of 4, which is going to be 1 and 4, 2 and 2. Now I need to find two factors that add to give me b, which are 4 and 1 in this case. Positive 4 and positive 1 give me positive 5, but I'm not going to put them into my brackets straight away. I'm going to split my b value into 4x and into x. So I'm going to write down 2x squared plus 4x plus x plus 2, okay? So all I've done is I've gotten two numbers that multiply to give me ac and add to give me b, and I've split b, at b into those two different values. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this right down in the middle, so I have two values at the front and I have two values at the end, okay? Then I'm going to factorise both sides individually into single brackets. So what goes into 2x squared and 4x? I can pull out a 2x. I'm going to close my bra open a bracket. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. 4x divided by 2x is plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to have x plus 2 inside my brackets. Now, because I have x plus 2 inside my brackets on this side, I have to have x plus 2 inside my brackets on that side, okay? Whatever's inside my brackets here has to be inside my brackets here. Now, if I do x plus 2 divided by x plus 2, I'm left with plus 1, okay? So I'm going to have plus 1 on the outside. Now, my final two brackets is going to be the repeated bracket, okay? So the one that came twice, which is x plus 2. And I'm going to have the stuff on the outside, which is 2x plus 1. Okay, so on this side, I, on this side I'm going to have 2x plus 1. Okay? Now, if the question said solve it and this equation was equal to 0, same how we solve other quadratics, we would do x plus 2 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then I would subtract 2 on both sides and get x is equal to negative 2. I would subtract 1 on both sides, so 2x is equal to negative 1, and then I would divide over 2 on both sides, so x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So x is equal to minus 2, and x is equal to minus a half. Now, let's do another example. If I had 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. So this is my a value, this is my b value, and this is my c value. I'm going to multiply my a and my c. 2 multiplied by 12 is going to give me 24. The factors of 24 are 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, and 6. Now, which of these factors add to give me 12? I can pick plus 3 and plus 8, sorry, add to give me 11. Now, I can split 11x into 3x and 8x, so I'm going to say... 2x squared plus 8x plus 3x plus 12, okay? Oh, sorry, let's make this equation equal to 0 and solve it, okay? Equals to 0. Now, I'm going to split this down the middle, so I have two values on this side and I have two values on this side, okay? I'm going to factorise both sides individually. What goes into 2x squared and 8x? I can pull out a 2x. Open bracket, 2x squared divided by 2x is going to give me x. 8x divided by 2x is going to give me pl plus 4. Okay, so I'm going to have x plus 4 inside my brackets over here. Now, because I have x plus 4 inside my brackets over here, I have to have x plus 4 inside my brackets over here. 3x divided by x is 3, and 12 divided by 4 is 3, so I'm going to have a positive 3 on the outside. Now my final two brackets is going to be the repeated bracket, in this case x plus 4 is the repeated bracket, so I'll write down x plus 4, and the stuff on the outside which is 2x plus 3, okay? Now if the question asks me to solve it, both of my brackets will be equal to 0, x plus 4 is equal to 0, and 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. I'm going to subtract by 4 on both sides, so x is equal to negative 4. I'm going to subtract by 3 on both sides, so 2x is equal to negative 3, and then I'll divide it by 2 on both sides, so x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Okay. So multiply my a and my c value, 3 multiplied by 10 is going to give me 30. My factors of 30 are 1, 30, 2, 15, 3, 10, 6, and 5. Okay. Now, 
two numbers that add to give me 17 would be positive 2 and positive 15. So I'm going to split 17x into plus 2x and plus 15x, okay? So 3x squared plus 15x plus 2x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to split this right bang in the middle and I'm going to factorise both sides individually, okay? Now on this side, I can pull out 3x. 3x squared divided by 3x is going to give me x. 15x divided by 3x is going to give me plus 5. So I'm going to have x plus 5 inside my brackets. Now because I have x plus 5 inside my brackets here, I have to have x plus 5 inside my brackets over here. 2x divided by x is going to give me 2 and 10 divided by 5 is also going to give me 2. So I'm going to have plus 2 on the outside. Now my final two brackets are going to be the repeated one, which is x plus 5. And the stuff on the outside, which is 3x plus 2. Okay, now the question is asking me to solve them. So x plus 5 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 5. 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. 3x is equal to negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2 over 3. Now, the first thing I do is I get my a value and my b c value and I multiply them together. 4 multiplied by minus 5 is going to give me 20. Now, my factors of 20 are, go are going to be 1 and 20, 2 and 10, and 4 and 5. The two that add together to give me minus 19 are going to be minus 20 and plus 1. So I'm going to split minus 19 into negative 20x and plus x. So I'm going to write down 4x squared minus 20x plus x minus 5 is equal to 0. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this right down in the middle so I have two values at the front and two values at the end. Now, what goes into 4x squared and 20x? I can pull out 4x. Inside my brackets, 4x squared divided by 4x is going to give me x. 20x divided by 4x is going to give me minus 5. So I'm going to have x minus 5 inside my brackets on this side. Now, because I have x minus 5 inside my brackets on this side, I'm going to have x minus 5 inside my brackets on that side. Now, x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is going to give me plus 1. So I'm going to have plus 1 on the outside. Now, my final two brackets is going to be the repeated one, x minus 5, and the stuff on the outside, which is 4x plus 1. Now, if I need to solve these equations, x minus 5 is equal to 0, and 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. I add 5 on both sides, and x is equal to 5. I subtract 1 on both sides, so 4x is equal to negative 1. Then I divide it by 4 on both sides, so x is equal to negative 1 over 4.